If you are a system integrator of AV systems and you want to interface with a Blackmagic Design ATEM switcher, you will face the trouble that the ATEM switcher doesn't have a protocol that your Crestron or Extron system knows about. We have a product that bridges this. It's called ATEM TCP Link. And basically what it does is connect to the ATEM switcher on the one side and on the other side, it has a TCP server you can connect to and you can send and receive commands. It's super easy even. It almost has like a learning mode and I'm gonna show you that right now. So the product itself is here. It's called ATEM TCP Link and it is a little blue box. Notice that it is powered by a single cable. This blue ethernet cable hooked up with a PoE switch is all it takes to connect it to your network. You need to set an IP address of it and you need to set an IP address of the ATEM switcher so it knows what to communicate with. And you connect by Telnet basically. This is how you can type commands by hand to test it before you integrate it. So on the screen here, I have a connection. Uh, let me just uh, show you. This is a connection that I am now going to quit so you can see that I am actually um, starting the connection to the ATEM TCP link using, using this command. So I'm now connected and notice I have an ATEM switcher right here which um, if I press these buttons will set a different input source to auxiliary 2. So currently I have uh, input 8 on auxiliary 2 but I'm now pressing the button 7. So notice what happens up here. It is going to report as I press the button that now the auxiliary source for input number, it says 1 because auxiliary 2 has the number 1, it's, it's minus 1 in this case, equals 7. And now I'm pressing another number of inputs. So all you need to do is now to replicate this, okay? So basically do this, do this copy this, I now copy it and I paste it in and notice on my ATEM switcher, which currently has input source 11 on the um, switcher, I uh, will now, as I press enter, see this change to 10. So the learning mode essentially is that any command, any change of state that happens on the ATEM switcher will be exposed to you on the TCP link uh, telnet interface making it super easy for you to identify the things that you want to do. Basically, with all these controllers we have, you can just type in or, or execute commands on the ATEM switch or with the ATEM software, and you'll see it replicated here on the ATEM TCP link console. That's the ATEM TCP link, a super easy way and, and very stable way to integrate your ATEM switch with AV equipment. Mm -hmm.